Welcome back to the Kieran Carlin Football Channel. Now, if you're wondering why my trim is like this, looking a bit ropey, it's because it's currently 13 minutes past seven and I can hear the bin men working outside. And I've decided this is a good time to record this. Today, we're going to be doing a UK YouTube ballers tier list. Now, down here, I have a long list of people that I quite often play football with. Apart from Ben Foster, I've just I've just thrown him in because I I felt like it to be honest. Thought it'd be funny. The categories we've got are the next Pele brackets alive, just in case you thought I meant the dead Pele. Tech Lord. This is gonna be a geezer who's incredibly techy on the ball. Shockingly. We've then got James Milner and Solid. Now these are two different categories because these are two slightly different things. James Milner is is more of an all-rounder, but he's got a slightly higher quality in the in the shots, in the sheer power and the game management. Solid, however, is you're an all-round good good baller that you you wouldn't mind having on your team that you'd quite like on your team that you're not picking first then you've got has his moments which doesn't mean you're bad but you're not you're not quite fitting the solid territory but sometimes you score a banger some games you have a worldy in defense and you're doing your job and then we have missed the coach which just means you're bordering on hindrance at that point let's start with zach allsop I'm going to throw in has his moments. Now, I don't believe Zach is a football fan at all, to be honest, but he does like the occasional game of football. He's a bit of a live wire. Will run forever. Will or will never stop running. Okay, and that's that's the bare minimum you want from a, a person who's playing football with you. It's just to keep on running, to feel like they've put they've put it all out there. And Zach puts it all out there. Maybe not the most technically gifted, but what he doesn't have a technical gifts he makes up for in effort and and just literally will run through you I, i'm not sure zach has any breaks he will just keep on running it doesn't matter if you are in the way or not he will just he will just just straight through you and i respect that let's go toby now i haven't actually played football much with toby at all he's he's played like three times maybe at the same time that i've played he's just a nice guy and now I don't want I don't want to just oh 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 Toby's so such a nice guy what what else about him he goes in goal a lot of time or he sits at the back he doesn't need to sit at the back we've all seen him in side men games he's an, he's I, I, I'm sticking him in oh Tech Lord on next Pele but alive oh I'm gonna stick him in Tech Lord only because I haven't seen it in person I know it's in there. But he's just such a nice guy that he comes down to play football on the rare occasion he does. He'll sit at the back or go and goal. He won't. He, he could sit. He could sit at the top or sit in midfield, like Chris MD does, and blast everyone away. Could absolutely destroy all of us. But he doesn't because I'm pretty sure he just doesn't want to embarrass us. And he and he knows that we play every week. And he wants us. He wants the rest of us to have a good time. <laughs> Next up, we'll go for George. Clarky, TikTok star. I'm chucking him in solid. George is huge. He is he is so strong. I sound like a like a damsel. That guy is massive. A lot of the time it seems like I come up against him in five aside in a one-on-one -on -one battle, and I hate it, George. And you know I hate it because I just I just bounce off you. I'm not a light guy. Right, I'm not incredibly strong, but I'm not light. I'm like a feather to him. Literally just that and you're gone. You're, just, you're flying away from him. He's so fucking strong. <laughs> so I'm sticking him in solid because he is literally solid. Let's do Chris. Everyone knows Chris. The next Pele. This guy. Th these are all five aside based rankings, by the way. because Well, seven aside because that's what we all play. If Chris is on your team, you're having a good day. The way the ball sticks to Chris is insane. He could dribble the ball through that insane pedestrian crossing in Japan before coming out the other end and scoring like 20 times a game. Chris is just ridiculous at five side, to be honest. And yeah, when he's on your team, just pass him the ball because you'll win. Next up, we'll go for James Alcott. I'm sticking James Alcott in... Oh, a James Milner or a Tech Lord. Is he that techie? I don't know. I'm going to stick him in James 
Milner. Because James is a lovely guy. I think he's a captain, which embodies a James Milner tier. Because he is solid on the ball. He's got a little bit of tech about him. But he's not based on techers. He's based on being a leader. He is the epitome of the James Milner class. Speaking of the James Milner class, let's go for another James Milner number. It's Mr. Spencer Owen. He's been around the block. Spencer's been around. He's on a series of blocks. He's he's halfway down Manhattan. He's been around so many blocks. He you could technically call him a Minecraft YouTuber. Spencer has a James Milner work rate. He's got the powerful shot. He will. T it, it might. It, it might not be on target, but it will be powerful when it is on target. The easiest James Milner shout of the day. Next up, we're going to go for Cam Kirkham, baby. Cam? I think Cam undersells himself. Cam is fucking good. But what Cam does is he sits at the back. He's like a, a, a deep lying midfielder is deep lying when it's closer to your own box than their box i can't remember exactly all the terms he's like a a number six he's so good and i want him cam if you're watching this if this has been posted in the group chat i want you to know that you're a tech lord you've got so much more ahead of you mate just go for it just push up into midfield do your spinny things you could be the geordie chris md and you can score loads of loads of goals become a tech lord the ball sticks to your feet next up we're gonna have ooh reeve now reeve hasn't played in a while because he's probably just getting too wham reeve you're fucking huge mate i'm gonna stick you reeve in solid Oh, he's not going to like that. He's not going to like that. Now, these are the reasons why. My 13 reasons why. I haven't seen that show. Is that about taking your own life? Um, Because why would you watch that? That sounds really depressing. Reeve is good. He's got, he's got some James Milner qualities about him, but not quite i don't know not 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 quite the level of captain c might get a little bit frustrated from time to time with the rest of the team than maybe the other two in the james miller category but i think i need to see more of reeve i think that's the issue i think we've got an injury issue here reeve isn't with us playing five aside too often it's been it's been a long time reeve okay and i need you to come back i need you to show me why you're a james milner and not just a solid Next up, we've got I'm Alex. Alex, a good friend of mine. He's a player. Let me tell you. Let me tell you that. But what kind of player is he? Okay, because that means absolutely that could mean literally anything on here. And he oh, nearly put him in Mr. Coach. He hasn't missed me. He might miss the coach actually because he'll probably be late. But he has his moments. Now, Alex, I know you're fuming right now, but we need some consistency. I'll tell you what, though. In the last game we played, you, sir, ran about like a ferret. Like a, like a little emo ferret. It was phenomenal. This tier is perfect. He literally does have his moments. He runs around a lot, a lot more now, okay? he does. Before, he would go down like he's injured, and to be fair, he probably was injured, but he would just sit there and we're like, Alex, Alex, we're a man down here. Even just stand there with a sprayed ankle. Just please stand up. And then he likes to dribble the ball a lot. He likes to get the ball and go on a mazy run. Sometimes he has his moments. Other times we lose the ball and then he can't run back. But the last game, he was phenomenal. He was everywhere on the pitch. He was defending. He was attacking. He was he was midfielding. He's currently in has his moments, but Alex is, he's working up the skill points to join in the solid category if he keeps his performances up. Now we move on to Cal Frozen. Cal Freezy has actually only, I've only played with him at Shoreditch a few times. He doesn't get involved too much, but when he does play, I I, I've, I've watched his tier list and I think he puts himself down sometimes. You know what? I think he might be in the Cam Kirkham category of... There's so much potential there. And I feel like they don't... They're too humble. You don't need to be humble, Cal Frozen. You're between Solid and James Milner. I'm going to put you in... Like I've done with Cam, I think you're an underlying secret tier above. You're a secret James Milner. On the surface, I think some people will put you Solid. But I think you've got... I think there's a little leader category about you there. Sitting at the back. 
I do, and I think there's I think there's a bit more technical ability than you believe yourself. Next up is Lewis Bucken. Ezen has his moments. Lewis, you're watching this right now. I know you're watching this right now. Okay, I can feel it in my loins. And you're a good player. You're good to have on your side at five a side because a lot of the time you will shoot from about the halfway line. You will twat it and sometimes it's not needed. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes we're like, maybe we want some ball retention, but no, you, you, you've had a shot. But sometimes it comes off and that's when you have your moment. Now they actually come off quite frequently and they are an absolute screamer and it's mental and it's left footed as well so no one expects it and he just fucking twats it. I feel like that is the epitome of has, 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 have his moments. Because sometimes there's a little fumble at the back. Okay, so you're not quite as solid yet. With some work, you can get there, Lewis. No one's missed the coach yet, which is nice. And in reality, no one wants to put people they know in the miss the coach category. So we're going Ben Foster, because Ben Foster, he hasn't got in touch. Now he obviously, why would he know who I am? I am no one. <laughs> but personally, I think Ben Foster should get in touch and I will message him today after this video. And I'll be like, mate, can you, can you come and give me some goalkeeper lessons like you did with Toby in that video? Because that was a good video. But I'm gonna need you. Go on this latest football fill-in and comment, please can you train at Kieran Carlin for a video, it would be sick. And I will message him and I will go up to where he fucking lives, Birmingham or something. Oh Jesus Christ, Birmingham. He will train me because that would be a sick video. So that's why I'm gonna put him on Miss the Coach because he wouldn't get on the coach because I'll get the coach up to Birmingham. Next up, we'll go for, who we're we thinking? Fogden, the man, the myth, the legend, the icon. The guy with one of my favorite clips of all time. Yes! Which, yes! Which means you suck your mum! Um, can we cut that bit? That is my grandma. No, no, that can't happen. Fogden is a very, very nice boy. And he is also, I think he's a tech lord. He's between tech lord and James Milner. He's really, he is good. You do want him on your team. I'm going to, oh, 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 tech lord of James Milner. This is tough, this one. But how much tech does he have? Does he have as much tech? as Cam Kirkham. I haven't played with Theo as much, but he is good. But do I feel like Cam Kirkham has a higher ceiling? I think I think Cam Kirkham might have a double height ceiling in a vintage London property. And I don't know with Theo. I've done it. I've done it. I don't know how I feel about this, but I've stuck him in a James Milner. I've stuck him in a James Milner. I feel like Theo could probably give you some tap in the middle of the pitch. I feel like he'd probably be quite a good captain. I reckon he, he he's a good leader. Do I reckon he's on the Toby, the Cam Kirkham, the Chris MD level of tech? I don't know. Sorry, Theo. I feel like I feel like he could prove me wrong. Danny Aaron's. Now I haven't actually played with Danny Aaron's at all before, but I'm I'm a big fan of Chris MD videos. And when Danny's in a video, that guy can cannot kick a ball. Danny has to go in the missed the coach category. And this is a challenge to Daniel Ahrens. I want you to have 100 shots against me. Prove me wrong, sir. Next up we have Bizinga, and I wonder if he even hates that name. I don't know. Because people went off Big Bang Theory, didn't they? Uh, I haven't asked him that. I'll ask him next time. Bazinga is... Oh, is he James Milner solid? James Milner solid. Oh, Ethan. Oh, the thing is, you want Ethan on your team because he is he's at least solid. He can kick a ball hard, which does, uh, does err him into the James Milner quality. Tech-wise, I think he might be borderline. I don't think tech-wise he is quite there not enough that I could put him on the level, in the same level as, oh, but is he, oh. No, I changed my mind. He's gonna have to go James Milner. If I got Cal Frozen in James Milner and Spencer in James Milner, I'm sticking, I'm sticking Ethan. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I even thought about putting you in solid, mate. I, that is, dude, that's vile from me. We've got Theo Baker. Theo obviously had a, a, a long-term injury situation with his hip. So this is difficult, this one. He gets put up there. He gets put above Chris MD a lot. 
and quite convincingly by a lot of people. However, I'm sticking in him, Tech Lord. It's based on Seven Aside. Me seeing them with my eyes, I've got, I'm often in goal for long periods of the game because I quite enjoy it because I'm a fucking freak. I'm, I'm looking across the, the carpet, the green rubbery carpet. And I'm not seeing Theo Baker out there. He needs to get his shooting boots back on and he needs to come back to Shoreditch because there's no no part of me could put him in the next Pele battle live because I haven't seen it enough. Chris is dragging games through the mud. You can, Don't get me wrong. You can be on the team without Chris and you can beat him, okay? If he doesn't have the right players around him, you can nullify him. Theo, get yourself back to Shoreditch and show me why you're the next Pele, but alive. Because right now, I can't be having you up there with Chris. I just can't. Next up, we've got friend of the channel, JCC, and all-round shagger and big friend, boss man. I'm going to stick you here. Oh, it's Tech Lord, innit? You are good. You're not a James Milner type. You, you're you Actually, I, what am I saying? You're just really good. You came and played at my five side on Wednesday, and you scored like four goals and became top scorer. John, you're sick. I love you. You're a Tech Lord. Harry Rowe to Shaw. I'm sticking him in. He's in solid. Ooh, controversial. Harry, he has he has a shot on him. But his conversion rate isn't amazing. He's got some of those YouTube goals in him. But the conversion rate is not amazing in real life. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, he rarely has a stinker. But there's some... I can, I can I can I can imagine some some dispossessions in bad positions after trying maybe like a little bit of dribbling. Uh, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to stick him in solid. It is what it is, Harry. I'm I'm sorry. It's, I'm just honest. Okay. I feel I, I feel like you respect that. Let's go for me next, and I'm sticking myself in solid. Not uh, an amazing outfield player by any means, but I'll do my running. I'll defend. Sometimes my my capacity, my lung capacity is just atrocious, and I don't know why. If I don't play for like a week, it just it goes goes to shit. If I ba if I have a bad sleep, it goes to crap. If I eat too much bread that day, it goes to crap. It's just it's really difficult. In goal, that's where you want me. I'm gonna honk my own horn and ring my own bell here. I've got to be the best seven aside YouTube goalkeeper. I'm taking it now. I, I have to be because I play it all the time and I love it. So that's why I'm. I'm in the solid, okay? I, I, I'd be in the next Pele Battle Live for goalkeeping, okay? Just want to put it out there for small-sided goalkeeping, not 11 a side. I'm fully aware of that at the moment. That's why I need Ben Foster to teach me. But also for outfield playing, I think I'm solid. I'm not techie at all. I don't even try. I don't even attempt it. I'm I'm scared to. I want to. Sometimes I might do a little Cruyff turn and be like, whoo-hoo! But ultimately, all I'm doing is trying to find Chris. So all I'm doing is trying to find Chris, Cam, I'm trying to find uh, Ethan, John, I'm trying to find anyone who is better than me on the ball by far and I pass to them. I also like to just stand up front and try and score because I'm convinced I've actually got a reasonable amount of finishing about me but that's just hopeful to be honest. I, ju I just want to do a celebration like Robbie Keane. So I'm sticking myself in solid but Reeve is definitely better than me. I just want to just want to say that uh, George Clark is stronger than me and uh, Harry has a uh, high proponent to scoring a worldie. You know, there's varying degrees of what everyone brings to the table. I just try and run about a lot and get in the way. Combined, we'll make one hell of a player, but individually, we're all fine. Rory Jennings. I'm saying Tech Lord. Now, this might come as a surprise to some people. This might come as a surprise to some people in the chat, but I don't think he's a James Milner. He's got a little bit of skill about him. He's good at ball retention. He likes to keep the ball on a bit. Now, I, oh, I don't think he's a Cam Kirkham. I think he, I think he's he's bordering between James Milner and Tech Lord. I think in reality he's sitting about here. I think he has good enough ball retention. I don't know why I say ball retention like that. It sounds like I'm going to say semen retention. And that is, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> He's got, <laughs> Rory Jennings has unreal semen retention. Well, he doesn't actually, he has a child. So he didn't keep that one to himself, did he? But I'm going to stick him in tech, Lord. I believe in Rory. I believe in the power of Rory Jennings. And we come down to a final shortage pro. My old friend, Mr. Will. Lenny. Will, he started off, he didn't have his moments. Not the finest 
five a side player, you, you are unsure where he fit in. And there are quite often quite a few uh, mistakes that are detrimental to conceding a goal. However, honestly, in the past year, he has come on leaps and bounds. I don't know if he's paid for a personal trainer, a personal coach to coach him to play football. But he is. He might be in between James Milner and Solid. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's bordering on that for me now. And I'm not, I'm not just... Oh, oh, closer to the hole, sir. I'm being honest. Will has come on leaps and bounds, and he is someone that you want sitting at the back. He is, he's a pick for the teams quite high up there, okay? You want to start off with your techie player or goalkeeper to score all the goals or save all the goals. Then you want another techie player or a more James Milner type then you want a defender. You never want a team with James Milner's. I've been in many James Milner teams and it never works. He's a James Milner defence, but I'm going to leave him in solid for now. This has been my UK YouTube baller tier list. It's been a very informed tier list. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been your boy Kieran. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to upload every day or as often as I humanly possibly can. I'm live editing now. So look at this. This is mental. I've been your boy Kieran and I will see you in the next one. Bye.